Hi guys, Dr. Walla here from Prestige Animal Hospital in Fontana, California, and today we're going to discuss what you need to know about puppy care. Judy will be Judy will be assisting me in asking some questions. Sorry, Judy. And so take it away when you're ready. All right. So, Dr. Walla, how will proper puppy care impact the life of my dog? So, by properly caring for your puppy, you're setting them up for success down the, down the lane, basically. Um, getting them properly protected from diseases, implementing good training, good nutritional habits, um, behavioral habits from the beginning. And then throughout the life of your pet, you know, things will be much easier to transition. They didn't get the saying that it's, it's not easy to treat, train an old dog new tricks from nowhere. So. Okay. And then why is it important to start good puppy care on day one? Well, um, again, you're setting yourself up for success, you know, puppy care, preventing fleas, teaching them that, you know, hey, messing with their ears, their face, their eyes, you know, opening their mouth, touching their tongue, getting them used to giving pills and other, other things like that. I can't tell you how many people come in and can't give their dogs any medicine when they need it because the dog will try to bite them or, or do something else because they never did that when they were a puppy. So it's very important to care for your puppy on so many different aspects from day one to get them used to it so it's going to transition to good behavior and good habits and good care when they're older. Okay. And then how soon should I bring my puppy in to see a veterinarian for their first exam? As soon as you have the puppy. Um, another thing that I'm seeing a lot nowadays is people are getting puppies from Craigslist or breeders, but they're meeting them at a, a location, not at one another's place where the puppy is raised. Because a lot of times if I was getting a puppy, I'd want to see where they're raised, the environment, does it look clean? So a good recommendation is even before you get the puppy, Tell whoever you're purchasing the puppy for, I'll meet you at the veterinarian and you'll pay for the visit. Say, I'll pay for the visit. And if you take the puppy, great. And if not, and the veterinarian says there's something wrong, then we can address it there and then. Um, this is a very good tip because a lot of people end up purchasing puppies that, that may be sick or something else. And at least this way, from the very first minute you have the dog, you've already had an examination, which you're going to get anyways on them. Okay. And then what are the most common health problems in puppies? So probably the most common one is, as gross as going to sound, worms or parasites in their stool. Um, all, I can't tell you how many puppies we see that test positive for parasites, even though people think, well, I don't see any worms on the poop. You don't have to see worms on the poop or there doesn't even have to be diarrhea for your puppy to have parasites. That goes for adult dogs too. Um, fleas and ticks are another common problem that we see in puppies, but probably those are the most three common things we see in puppies. Other things can include viruses that they pick up from not being properly vaccinated, respiratory tract illnesses, especially in the smush face dogs. I have a boxer, so I, she's my little smush face dog. Um, they call them brachycephalic breeds. So these are some of the common uh, problems, but we also want look for them when they're puppies for you know cleft palates, um, umbilical hernias that they can be born with. Um, in males, did both their testicles descend? Do they have underlying, you know, in, in female puppies, vaginal infections? Because some puppies do get that. So these are some of the symptoms that we can look for in puppies. Okay. And then what are signs and symptoms of illnesses in my puppy? Uh, diarrhea, vomiting, inappetence or not eating, um, swollen face, maybe they got stung by a bee or something, excessive thirst, runny eyes, nose, trouble urinating, defecating, um, lethargic, they, you know, is a big one. They don't want to play. Puppies should always want to play and, and uh, they should play hard and sleep hard. So these are things that I would tend to look out for if I feel like my puppy's not doing well. Okay. And now what are signs of a healthy, thriving puppy? Um, healthy, thriving puppy. They eat voraciously sometimes. Uh, they sleep hard. They poop and pee a lot. So they eat play hard, sleep hard, and they're pooping, peeing on regular intervals. Okay, and then when should I start training my puppy? I like training your puppy as soon as possible. Um, there's a lot of good tips on our website at prestigeanimalhospital.com on how to start training your puppies. And it's good to be very consistent. A lot of people will even get a trainer, but they won't work with them at home. And I tell them that's kind of a waste of your money because if you don't enforce it at home, they'll listen to the trainer every time you go there, but they won't listen to you. All right, and then last question, what will my vet be looking for when first examining my puppy? So uh, we touched on this a little bit before, but we always look for any birth defects such as a cleft palate, um, a hernia that didn't fully close at birth, 
where the, you know where their umbilicus is. Um, we'll look for parasites. We'll look which could be some worms, you know, on the base of their tail, some fleas, ticks. We'll do a thorough examination of their eyes, look in their ears for any signs of infection, listen to their heart for any congenital heart issues that we may be able to hear, like a heart murmur. Um, other than that, I think, you know, in general, we're looking, oh, also the bloated belly is a big one. Big round belly on a puppy could indicate some worms. So if you have any other questions regarding your puppy care, give us a call. We've made a great resource um, that our veterinarians put together as well on our website under client resources called Guide to Dog Care, which will recap all this information and is a great resource to have from a trusted, uh, reputable source. So please visit us at prestigeanimalhospital.com uh, and book a visit. We look forward to seeing you and congratulations on your puppy.